The Ebola virus is transmitted through contact with an infected person's bodily fluids. In order to protect themselves, healthcare workers must wear special suits that completely isolate them from the virus. But in some cases, says Rich Lamport, vice president of the global health organization JAPAIGO, the suit is part of the problem. We found to be at, at much higher risk than they need to be, uh, um, primarily because the, the process of taking it off uh, puts the healthcare worker at risk. Lamport says the current suit requires about 20 steps to be removed safely, which creates opportunity for human error. And West Africa's hot, humid climate makes it uncomfortable for health workers to spend more than 40 minutes inside the airtight suit. So the call went out from Japago and Johns Hopkins University for a better, safer, more comfortable design. More than 70 people took part in the Ebola design challenge. Students, health professionals, even a wedding gown designer. The wedding gown and the Ebola suit have a lot more in common than one would think. They're both multi-layered garments that require a lot of diligence to remove. Being a person that is a pattern maker and also knowing how garments are made and constructed, I knew that I could contribute to. That's the idea behind the challenge, says Yusuf Yazdi, executive director of the Johns Hopkins Bioengineering Innovation Center. To solve a problem, you need all the different perspectives at the table. If we just addressed it from an engineering or technical perspective, the design would be a failure. The Hopkins team entered a design based on ideas from the challenge in a separate Ebola suit competition sponsored by the U.S. government. It was recently chosen as a semi-finalist. One of their improvements was to the headset, which currently requires goggles and two surgical masks. Team member Tim Campbell is a researcher at the Hopkins Hospital. We wanted to minimize the amount of face touching that went on in the removal or doffing process. So we switched to this version of the head covering system. We've installed vents in the sides of the mask. Uh, this is just a prototype, but uh, right here. Bioengineering student Erin Reesfield is excited to be on the volunteer team. Our program has a global health aspect to it already, and so a lot of us are very passionate about helping out the uh, developing world. The Hopkins team's goal is ambitious, to create a new, low-cost Ebola suit in a matter of months, not years. For producer June So, Amy Katz, VOA News.